friends and welcome back to another makeup tutorial slash hack video where I'll show you some new hacks like using a spoon to do your eyeliner which was actually a very interesting and I'm also going to show you how I get my makeup my lipstick specifically to last all day when I want it to be matte and not budge and this is the final look so let's jump right into it first up brows same thing I've literally been doing for years so I'm just gonna speed through this it's the Anastasia dip brow pomade in ebony I literally just fill in my brows brush it and that's it I told you guys so many years like I do not like to spend too long on my brows just fill them in and move on something new that I've been trying um, that I actually really like so I don't have to use eyeshadow primer is I take my time and I conceal under the brows I'm using the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Concealer. I think it's an NC42 and I'm just chomping away on the gum because I'm super classy like that. And what I do is I really sculpt out the brows but then I take it all the way down the eyelid as you can see here and then I set it with the brow powder and I find that it makes my eyeshadows pop and last all day. Now some people don't like doing this. I'd say try it out once, see how you like it. I have very oily eyelids and it works like a dream for me and my eyeshadows do not budge but I think if you have dry skin this might not work for you moving on to the eyes I used a lot of MAC pigments and of course as I'm sitting down recording this voiceover I have no idea what the names are so I'm so sorry but I will leave the names of everything and link them down below in case you want to check them out I have the little smaller size MAC pigments if you've never tried MAC pigments they will last you forever and you need very little of them this is one of the pigments and I'm just putting that in the crease it's like a deep plum shade not like it is a deep plum shade and I really like it I really need to stop chewing gum when I'm filming these videos it looks so bad <laughs> next in I next up I went in with this lighter colored white it's like a white silver pigment I'll leave them all linked down below again these all these pigments are from Mac I'm just patting that on the inner corner bringing it to the middle of the eyelid and you can see that I'm really patting it as opposed to like brushing it on. I, these were really finely milled. I love MAC pigments. So you may, want to make sure you actually press them onto the lid. Next up, I took the another pigment. These actually came in a set. It was like their Christmas set like two or three years ago. So I'll link them down below because I know they sell them individually. This is like a pinkish rose gold shade. Look at how pretty that is. And it's not even coming up on camera as how vibrant it is, but it's a very like pink rose gold shade and I'm putting that on the outer corner well honestly before I started filming this video I had no idea what I was going to do I just know I wanted something more natural because I know you guys really like when I do the more for me this is natural because you guys know I like bright pinks and blues so for me this is a natural look going into the Morphe 35R palette I'm still like meh on this palette I just use it when I need like a brown shade to me it just all looks brown so I'm taking the brown shade I just showed you and putting it on the outer corner because I wanted to deepen the crease up a little, but I don't know. At first, I was not liking this look at all. I'm telling you guys, I really struggle to do more natural-looking makeup looks. Like, if you ask me to do green and blue and yellow, I'm like, oh, great, easy. Like, I'm one of those rare people that color is my comfort zone and natural-looking looks are make me uncomfortable. So, like, I... I don't know if you can tell, but I really wasn't liking it. And then the Le Boyfriend, I call him Le Boyfriend, he came over. We have these random dance parties. <laughs> so we had a little dance party mid-filming, and then I got back to it. So the spoon trick. I saw this actually on Pinterest, and you're supposed to use the spoon to help you give a really straight line, which it did help to do like the tip of the wing, but then you're supposed to use the rounded part, and I was like, no. Moving on, Kate Somerville Wrinkle Eye Warrior. Love this stuff. I've been using it for about two weeks now, and my final review on it will be coming soon, but so far, I really like it. Moving on to foundation. This is an Anastasia uh, Stick Foundation, and I think it's, it's in the shade Coco, and I really like it. I know that some people that have dry skin or normal skin don't like it, but I think if you have oily skin, you'd really like this, so check it out. Also, I, I kind of just breezed over that spoon thing. I didn't really like it. I feel like I get a straighter line when I don't use a spoon. If any of you have tried that hack, let me know. Moving on, Winky Lux Flower Balm. I love this stuff. I always use it before I put on my lipstick. I've been using it in a lot of my tutorials. I just feel like it makes my lips really smooth. I like it. Next up, we have the YSL Touche Clat Radiant Touch. 
and I use this to conceal under the eyes and down the bridge of the nose. Um, I love this stuff. I know some people either love it or hate it. I really like it. It's not super full coverage, but it does what it says it will do of brightening up um, wherever you put it. And it just gives me a really nice, bright, awake look. So I really like it. YSL did send this to me for free, but I'm going to repurchase it because I'm almost out. I like to blend it out with my fingers, and then I go with my favorite translucent powder at the moment, which is Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to make sure that is set which is a must because I have very, very oily skin. Next, I wanted to finish under the eye, so I used that same plum pigment that we used at the very first pigment and put that all along the lower lash line, and I feel like it just tied the look together. I mean, still, you can see I'm looking at it like, uh, I don't know, but I think it tied the look together. Next up, going in with this Lancome Hypnos Mascara. Lancome did send this to me for free. I really like this mascara. You guys have been hearing me talk about this mascara a lot because I've been using it daily, and I really like it. It's really good at giving you thick, long lashes, and I love the, um, the brush head. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the brush head. I love, no, the things that stick out. Oh, my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Not the arms. <laughs> The brushes? The little things that stick out on the brush. I'm drawing a blank. It's Memorial Day, friends, and I'm just losing it. But I really like this. The wand. I love the wand, and I really try to take my time. If you see me talking, I'm talking to my boyfriend. After our dance party, we had a little convo. So I really like this mascara. Moving on, my favorite affordable lashes. You guys see me use these all the time. These are the Grand Glamour Lashes. I never film myself putting lashes on because I suck at filming that. Next up, one of my favorite blushes. This is the Sephora Collection Blush. That was a tongue twister in Hey Jealousy. I love this blush. I feel like Sephora Collection, nobody really talks about their makeup. This is the actual brand that Sephora makes. I did a whole video on it. I will link it down below. I love a lot of their products. Next up, I'm using the Becca Highlighter in Topaz. One of my go-tos, I can always count on it. It's pigmented, it's long-wearing, you need very little of it. I have nothing negative to say about any Becca highlighters, so I think they're worth the money. Every highlighter I've tried from them, I've always liked, so I don't have anything bad to say about that highlighter at all. I actually need to pick up some more because I really do like them. Moving on, we are going to use the Black Up Lipstick, and I think I used this in my last tutorial. It's a very vibrant pink color. Black Up did send this to me for free. Look at how bright that is. I was like, uh, I don't know if this matches the eye look, which actually, now that I'm seeing it on camera, I kind of like it, but I was like, uh, I don't know. So what I did was I topped, <laughs> why am I making that face? So what I did is that I topped it with another shade, and I think I used, I think it's from, Tr oh, it's this actual MAC shade. I don't know the name of this. I'll link it down below. I wanted to mute this a little more, and then I added a light pink lip gloss, and it gave me the perfect shade that I wanted. I think this is from Trust Fun Beauty. I believe I got it in my last BoxyCharm, and it finally like made the look tie together with like a mauve pink. And then lastly, to make my lipstick last all day and be matte, what I do is I take my favorite translucent powder. You can use any translucent powder you have. Put a piece of tissue next to your lips and dab that powder over the tissue and your lipstick will not budge and it will be super matte and beautiful. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Everything is linked down below and I'll see you soon. Bye.